Nope. Now, okay, now, now we're live. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Amp through it here. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, you, oh. you, you are watching. <laughs> it's because they don't do the dead gum countdown anymore. It's just right. up attention. and running. Jeez. <laughs> oh, anyway, folks, welcome to yet another weekly hangout on air with the smartphone photographers community. I'm Ant Pruitt. I'm here with a couple members from our community where we're going to sit down and give you tips and tricks to uh, make you a better smartphone photographer. And as usual, we have a weekly challenge and we will discuss that challenge and look at some of the highlight shots there as well as the winner so they can uh, let us know what our next challenge is going to be. Um, we're going to, let me see, how many we got here? We got about four of us tonight, five of us? Heck, I can't count. Let's just go ahead and do the intros. <laughs> so we'll start out. I'm going to be a gentleman this time. We're going to start wave with your hands. Deborah Walmer Basimbi. Hey! <laughs> I was pushed into coming. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, that, there's no such thing as that. No, I didn't just automatically invite you. No, I didn't. <laughs> No, no, no I didn't thing. have anything else better to do except watch Game of so. <laughs> I appreciate yeah, you joining me. I, I like that bottle behind her in the, on the mirror. She brings a certain level. Yes, the bottles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Stella Cider. Those are good. Those are good. Um, thank you for coming out, Deborah. <sighs> Next up, Mr. Michael King. What's happening, man? You there? You're muted. I see plugs. Yeah. You're yeah, muted. I lost him. Oh, there we hear yeah. I was coughing, so I muted myself. <laughs> boy. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, all a favor. Had our first uh, upper 90 day with high humidity. Now we're going to have tornadoes tonight. Oh, Austin. he's in Texas, folks. <laughs> yep. Appreciate you coming up, bro. Oh, yeah, anytime. Got nothing better to do. <laughs> Next up, Michael. Port is. Hi everyone. I don't know if you can hear me or not. To be honest, I hear you loud what? Here, bro. What? Huh? Huh? Can you speak up? What did you say? Uh, what did you say? Yeah, I think uh, I, I, I was just a troublemaker. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, always, always a troublemaker, Deborah. Hi everyone. You got a little echo there going. <laughs> what? What? Is it really? Oh. No, you're good, Portis. You're good for a change. You 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 are so easy to take advantage of, obviously. <laughs> no, I did a way on top secret product testing for the last couple of weeks and Oh really? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. I have okay. new toys. So well since it's top secret, you're gonna have to tell us about it, okay? I'll, I'll yeah, I have some new toys. Alright. So. Sweet. Next up. An iPhone six, in, no doubt. Coming from an iPad. Locked away in some office <laughs> far away. Yeah, Mr. Office Mike far, Sweeney. far away. <laughs> What's going on, man? We're, we're doing all right. You know, have iPad, we'll travel. Damn right. <laughs> Damn right. Appreciate you joining us and, um, you know, show us some dedication with a freaking mobile that's device. Right. That's, that's There you go. I, 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 I could have used the smartphone. I got it here, but I like the bigger screen. Oh, gosh, it. no. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> please don't do that. All right, let's go ahead and get right on into it here. Um, this week, our challenge was focused on round. Uh, Mr. Findley proposed it to us, and he basically said just it could be anything. So we got a wide variety of shots, lots of part participation. And um, outside of the top vote getters, it seems like um, most people were fairly even on the amount of votes they got. You know, it was usually somewhere between three and three and six votes. But then you had the top vote getters getting, you know, 13 and so on. So I'm going to pull these pictures up and uh, highlight a couple of them that I thought were interesting and see if we can get some comments from the uh, community members here. If I can fix my screen. There we go. <laughs> I hate by default that Google Plus puts the little Hangout window over to the side. Yep. And it's always expanded. All right, so share screen. Act like I've done this before. And watch Grant crash. <laughs> there. All right, so guys, see my, my uh, screen? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. One of the first ones that got my attention is from a previous winner, Mr. Boris Moretsky. 
He um he's been highlighted a couple times actually. Um, he took this shot from uh, I want to say it was like at sunset in Berlin with this with this uh, Galaxy Note two. I think he's got a Note two or it's either a Note three. And he's pretty daggum talented. Um, I can't quite verbalize what I like about it, but I'm gonna try. So bear with me. <laughs> Number one, the 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 color. Of, of, of the oranges, the, the, I guess you could say the saturation of it. I mean, it's quite vivid. And then you have the the way it's lit and the shadows behind it. But then this edge here, why did he why did he let it sit off the edge a little bit? I thought that was a little different and uh, creative. But you got round within round. Uh, what he says here, some random kitchen scenes made with this Galaxy Note 3. Slightly edit it with Snapseed. All right. So first up, let's go ahead and get some critiques on. Mr. Portis, we'll start with you. Um, not a bad photo. I would have liked to see more vibrant oranges. A little color correcting, I think, would have been nice. I like bright. Even more than that? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty, it's pretty high up there. I, I like oranges to be orange. He wants day glow orange. Holy I like God. the negative space with the bowl kind of off the um, the side of the table, breaking that color plane is really interesting. Negative I space. Made color it. plane? Color, color plane. plane? I got big words today, people. Apparently you do. <laughs> I'm going to step uh, up my only, game. <laughs> my only gr gripe is I don't like the shadow of whatever, maybe it's the bowl shadow or whatever on the left-hand side. I maybe would have cropped it a little bit more so you don't know over more. You see, that there's a the, the other way. Other way. This one uh, over there. On the yeah, left. Yeah, right there. Okay. So I maybe would have cropped that out just to keep the white very clean because I like the cleanness of the black also. So. Mm. And see, if you use something like GIMP, you could just have cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without cropping it. Yeah. Or yeah. Well, that's kind of cheating. I think. If you oh, was to like... Oh, 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 no, hold it's on. not. No, it's not. Wait, no, wait, it's not. Wait. Maybe, maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're saying then, because if he took a, like a paintbrush and whited over it, I think paint... that... Dude, there's a lot of different tools that no. come with, you know, like if you're in a dark room and you physically have photographs, there's tools that you can use in the dark room to get rid of shadows like that. No, right. see if he, and if that's he what I'm saying. To, if he, like a, bounce some light in that area or some kind, just anything to not have that shadow there. Is well, basically you know, if he'd been running an iPhone, he could have used iPhoto and just used the repair brush and painted it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But that's still cheating, too? <laughs> Poor No, because yeah, so it's an iPhone. Jeez. I don't think yeah, okay. I'll <laughs> think it was there. It's on an iPhone, so I guess it doesn't mean it's cheating, but um, it is yeah. not cheating. It is not cheating. The it's best cheating. The, the best photographs that we've ever had in our civilization have been altered in the dark room. Some some yep. way, shape, or form. Absolutely. Yep. All right. What about like you? You're like I mean, you're not creating a graphic design image for like a magazine where you're cutting things out and you're placing it on new backgrounds and new that's a different type of style of it still cheating. would not be cheating because it, there's just a style you know but in this case it's definitely not cheating come on not don't all. let's try this again there we go sorry <laughs> no excuse the uh, bore <laughs> you have anything else you'd like to add for this photo? Me? Yep, you. Me? Um, I really like it. And until someone else mentioned the shadow, I actually didn't see it at first. I never, I didn't see it either. Um, because I was concentrating more on the right side. I really like that negative space. And the it makes a centered photo look asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. because of that black line column. Yeah. That's now, all I want. I wonder, was that just like a mask he put there, possibly? What do you think? I, I don't think so. I think it's... It's the edge of the table, but he got it... I mean, that's like really, really... That's really black. Black. You know what I mean? 
I mean, if he was, if this was the edge of the table and he was shooting down into darkness. Maybe it was nighttime. I mean, nighttime ain't floor. that black. <laughs> you don't know where he lives. <laughs> he lives in Alaska or something where it's dark. I mean, night nighttime it is really not that black over there. But uh, I'm just curious. I wonder how he did that. Because that's that's well, like super. I, I that's keep, darker than the shadows right here. See, I I keep black paper and white paper with me all the time mm -hmm. when, when I'm shooting on tabletops. With your huge luggage of all the other stuff you carry with you. <laughs> that too. Because well, black is subtractive; it absorbs color. So if you want if you want to take a, a clear glass and add a really cool black ring to show the edge, if you if you have the blackness of the paper hit that glass, that's what you're going to get. You know, so it, it's a common enough trick. But I, th I think overall the image is brilliant. The um, what, what everybody's kind of waffling around is that black stripe down the side actually adds visual tension to the image. It, it pushes the eye off center, and the eye keeps trying to go back to center, mm -hmm. and so you get this tension going back and forth, which is just brilliant. Because that keeps you focused on the oranges in the middle. Right. A symmetrical photo, asymmetrical. Right. Yeah. Well, well done. <laughs> nice. All right. Now, Mr. King, I didn't check with you. Uh oh, we heard Michael's feelings. He left. Are you no, there? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> barely, barely. Portis. I'm talking barely. about Portis. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're like a bad penny. <laughs> <laughs> what What are your thoughts, King? Well, as, until you lose power, I will. Uh, I I think it's interesting. I I agree with. Um, that they needed that he should have used some kind of like the healing brush on uh, iPhoto or something like that or uh, GIMP or anything like that to uh, take out that shadow or cropped it a little bit. But that's the only thing. Uh, I think the oranges are orange enough. Okay, well let me let me let me ask you this because that's two people that notices the shadow. What about right here? It's dark right there. Yep. It's dark right there. You know, personally, Ant, yeah. I don't mind the shadow at all. I like it. I didn't even notice it. I mean, I see it now, but for after me, looking at it, it more... It's more like it's coming from something else. Oh, it, it's the wrong type of image to have a stark white background. Mm -hmm. I like it. Ooh, there's the yeah. background. Oh, yeah. What? I like it. What happened to you? Can Who? You... <laughs> I'm here. Why, why why do we have your weather on the screen, dude? <laughs> okay, turn it to focus off of you. Anyway, jeez, jeez, my daddy. All right, let's go to another highlight here. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? This one. This is from Chris Seam. I want to say he's a previous winner as well. Um, of course, a car <laughs> isn't isn't round. I mean, I don't even think a <laughs> Volkswagen Beetle is round. But as he mentioned, he liked the circles here. But I like the rest of the shot as well, too, though. Um, what do you guys think on it? Wish that person wasn't in the background. Man, oh, that's oh, true. Yeah. But other than that, uh, oh, God, this I person like it. Or this foot yeah. That's the one that got me was this one. There's two people well, that I don't like. There's three, there's three people. There's mm -hmm. the one in the, 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 uh, the blue, pink shirt or purple shirt. The blue pants, and then uh, Mr. Uh, Sandals over there in the corner. Sandals. Mm -hmm. And that, that tire, too. You know, okay. Oh, yeah, the tire. I don't like the photo anymore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my plus <laughs> away. See, see uh, maybe I'm the minority, but I, I don't care for the image. Mm -hmm. I, I have an innate dislike for tilted images anyways. It, it's a little trite mm -hmm. and overworked, trendy look. But mm -hmm. I'm not convinced that the circle around the 56 actually hits the mark for what the theme was. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, just, that's that just me. No, you may not. Yes, well, I'm going to end it. <laughs> okay. The well, come on with it, Dan. Somebody needs to mute him. Yeah. The white on the 56 is so white it looks like it's digitally overlaid on it, on mm -hmm. my screen. It looks like it isn't well, really there. If, if you'd ever calibrate your screen, you'd be good. It's really, it's it's really white. I do agree. It is really, really, really white. It's overly white. White, 
and really not pixelated in comparison to everything. That black is way blacker than any other black on the screen. I, I can't mm -hmm. I can't see in my iPad just how well that is or not. Mm -hmm. So I, think, I remember just thinking it was super red. <laughs> and it, red really stood out. The red really st st stands out, but look at the white in comparison to all the other whites on the screen in the picture, and especially the black, how deep that black, it, black is versus the black like in the front grill. But what's, right. that got to, what's that got to do with the image matching I, the theme or not? It makes it not work for me. It doesn't look like all right. I wondered where you were going. <laughs> it I just mean, I could, took him a while I could to get this. The, the fuzzy Instagrammy vignette, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. uh, soft focus around it. That works because it does draw your eye into the center of the photo where you, he clearly wants us to see that white mm -hmm. circle. But mm -hmm. and I can even forgive the people in the background. Obviously, whatever reason, whatever I don't care. Mm -hmm. But it's that is almost way too distracting. It makes it feel like it's not a real photo. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I'm, I'm looking at the picture on the bigger screen here, and it, it doesn't look like a digital overlay. It looks like a sticker. Yeah, it looks like a sticker. It looks like, you know, a vinyl it's, sticker, actually. It's but. really, really bright white, but it looks yeah. like a sticker. It does. It, look, <clears throat> it, looks like, it doesn't look like it's painted on like it is, like they do on a lot of race cars, put a sticker on there. I mean, the car itself looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a real fan of the fake depth of field look. Mm -hmm. I want to know when I could drive it. That's all. I'm blur <laughs> you mean by blurring yeah. out the back and all of that, Sweeney? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. wish, like Sweeney says, I wish it was flat. Uh, you know, not tilted, but just normal flat. Okay, gotcha. I like the diagonal, but I like diagonal. Like Diagonals diagonal. work in certain cases, but it, it's an overused... Um, Mike, if it was pointed the other way so that it wasn't like it was pointed, I don't know, just more askew uh, so that the it's pointing towards the lower right-hand corner, would it work better for you? Like it's almost racing across the screen? Because I think that's what bugs me about the tilt. It's you know, not, I think you might be right. I, I, I really do, because I'm, I'm drawing a line diagonally, and it doesn't match a diagonal line either. Right. If it was, if the center of the fifty-six was pointed down into the lower right-hand corner of the yeah, the, like the, like it's running off the screen. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I, I think you might be right there. That's a whole different tilt. Yeah, it is. But but you know, I think one of the reasons it's bugging me so much is it doesn't feel natural. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was actually on a racetrack with a person behind it, and it was kind of tilted because of the uh, angle of the of the racetrack. That would have been different if it was actually in a ra being racing. That kind of tilt would have been fine, but this one doesn't look good. I think what, uh, what does it in is the fact that the um, the angle of the front of the car is different from that angle in the sidewalk. And that sidewalk, the crack in the sidewalk, makes a very definitive line, and your your eye wants to follow that line. And when the car is not on that same diagonal, it just it throws it off. Good point. Good point. Mr. Knight, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Anything you'd like to add for this shot? Uh, um, I will say probably for trying to take this shot, I don't know how many shots um, he took, but anytime you're at an auto show, getting a clean shot, completely it's clean, tough. devoid of people in the background, other objects that may be in the way is very tough. Uh -huh. um, so the shot could work. Um, I've listened to some of the things that other people have pointed out thus far, and um, I can agree with some of what I've heard. I think this shot, even for me kind of at this angle, could work, but for me the people in the background, they really detract from it. Um, if it could have been, say, taken in the Photoshop and the car cut and then maybe a more racetrack-looking background, or even just a plain um, background, a more plain background be put behind it, mm -hmm. and it laid over top of that, it would work more for me. But the foot up in the corner, the blue jeans, the purple shirt and blue jeans, um, the white pants and the black shirt, 
and then that other tire from the other vehicle. It just it's all a little too distracting. And mm-hmm. once again, when you're at when you're at auto shows or any type of car show, um, trying to take pictures of a vehicle, you you get in trouble with the elements that are around you, and you have to fight and be careful, you know, to get that proper shot. You also, as Michael pointed out, that line in the concrete um, there, that's, it's not something you can change, um, you know, physically there. It's going to be there, so you can use it to work to your advantage. You can edit it out. Um, in the natural photo, or, you know, you may need to choose a different angle to take your photo from. Um, looking at this car and seeing what, um, Portis has said maybe a different angle slanted, make it look like it's running off the picture, which would have meant more of an overhead shot would have looked nice. I don't know if it would be possible or not because that takes um, getting very close to it, On top very of personal it, with it. <laughs> putting your reflection inside of the, the shot and everything. I pull, gentlemen, and I pull. You uh, know, yeah. so this could be, you know, a $100,000 vehicle and – Whoever it belongs to could be very protective of it and not want you, but so close to it. This is true. So those are all things you have to kind of contend with. Personally, if I had taken a shot, um, seeing as with the theme that we're dealing with, circles, and I would say kind of this was kind of circles, ovals, I would have gone from the front side uh, a little bit lower, more, more or less kind of ground level. And went for kind of that half. You oh, you see the shot often with um, sports cars, but they give you the half shot, the mm-hmm. half front body half where you have the just the side kind of half of the shot side straight on where you get like you get one side of the car. Okay. And then kind of played and played up having almost divide the car in half, and you get that half on one side, and then whatever is on the other side is kind of like negative space. Okay. So that could have been something to attempt. Um, possible, maybe, maybe not. All depends on, you know, how everything was set up. You know, in your in your surroundings. Um, you could kind of do it with this one, but this would require rotating the picture some and just other kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> I was just curious to see how this would look tight. Doesn't look like it works either way. It's a crappy photo. It ain't crappy. Next. Next. Oh. <laughs> All right. Harsh. Moving right along. Wow. Um, hey, let's pick on one of mine. Okay. All right. I've been in a mood for black and white, grayscale, what have you. Um, what, what a crappy picture. I don't know yes. why. <laughs> <laughs> Sweeney has a ride, folks. <laughs> Tell, I, I told you what I thought about it already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I, I, um, this is on one of my walks in the morning, and um, I, I got down on the ground again. That's I think that's two weeks in a row. That's two weeks in a row, damn it. Again, I pull. Yeah, and um, no. shot this thing, but the problem was the stuff that's going on in the background. There's a stop sign back there, and there's something else that sticks up back there, and I wanted all of the focus on this one right here. Okay, I, um, I got a question for you, Ant. Yes, sir? Did you use a third-party lens with that? Negative. Okay, so you're limited to how close you can get. Right. Okay. So what's preventing you from just cropping the holy bejesus out of it and just going right in onto the little puffball? Well, because if yeah. I get too close to it... No, I'm too... talking about cropping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me find the original shot. Maybe we can see it a little better. Because I, I think if you if you went to a square, really, really, really tight crop on the puffball, I think you'd like it a lot better. Oh, shoot. My, my problem was that the top... You want to get the whole thing in, that's great, but the top is cut off. And mm-hmm. so they give it a haircut. Well, it's like see, see, a picture I of saw that. Their heads cut off and their well, feet cut off. Well, yeah, that's a fashion cut. You know, people like doing that. But 
since it's already cut on the top, you might as well crop the bejesus out of yeah, it and just look and yeah, work with the crop. I agree. You need to behead it. Hmm. Um, no, but, okay. but, but you're going to get me on a little rant here. And, and the rant is that just because you've gone grayscale doesn't make it black and white. Mm-hmm. No, that's that's why I said grayscale. That's why I said grayscale. Quite yeah, why clearly. bother? <laughs> I wanted it. I like to look hey, better. Dan, than this why don't color. you why don't you put it, your camera in black and white mode and then take a picture? No, I can try don't, that. Don't, yeah, it never works. So let's say you say crop this thing because this is the the shot here. Go 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 square, and then really crop it down. So you just want the puff ball. I don't know if the picture is going to I don't know if the picture can take that kind of crop. All the green out. Well, okay. Right there. Right there. There? Talk. Yeah. Let's see. I would even go further. (laughs) Need to set focus so I can see you. Right there. Looks good. Yes. Now hit crop. Don't be afraid to crop. Now kill it. There. Ooh. Much better. Much better that image. And leave the color in it for Christ's sake. No. No. Do black and white. Let's just Do a real black and white. None of this gray grayscale crap. Yeah, crop. Yeah. Up more, 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 more. Right there. More, now more. we're getting there. Now we're getting yeah. there. Right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little lower. A little lower. Look, right there. That's better. Hey, Ant, set focus so I can see it. Talk or something. It Talk. should already be there. There it I is. Have a no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, he's on his iPad. He's on his iPad. He can't set the who's, who's I, I can't. I can't set focus on my iPad. I have no, to I, I have it set on me. Yeah, except yeah, everyone no. that talks, it keeps moving. Right. Everybody shut up so we, uh, <laughs> uh, Sweeney can see it. You see it yeah, now, Michael. Sweeney? <laughs> you see it now? Yes, I do, actually. And you like that better? I like that better. And if you really wanted to doll it up, you'd get a film effect and add a little bit of green to it. Well, you can you can add green in the in that black and white setting. There was can green. You? Yeah. We'll teach you how to post process, Ant. Oh, right there, right there, Ooh. right there, right there. I would take the brightness down a little, just a little bit more too. Right there. I don't know about the brightness overall. I kind of like it, but maybe the highlights slightly. Yeah, I, I don't like. It's a little bit blown out on the top of the puffball. A little bit. I want to see more detail in that. It's a smartphone. <laughs> it's a Sam. It's it's an Android phone. What do you expect? Hey, you shut it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little sensitive there. See, that goes a little too far. There, don't you think? That's good. I, I look really good right there. I like it. That passes. Save it because Google's going to do a readjustment once you save it. There. There we That's go. perfect. Now that one's perfect. All right. Anybody else? Thoughts? Mr. Knight? Mr. Portis? I'm going to leave it be. They, they chopped that all to hell already. <laughs> 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 you realize what just happened? They made you do a whole different photo. I did a whole new shot. A whole, new, a whole shot. new photo. It's not, it should be smartphone photo editing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as I've said before, don't be afraid to post post process. Don't be afraid to crop, and I've oh, hard no. cropped crop, many crop, a photo. Crop. No doubt, no doubt. Um, people people are definitely crop afraid crop to crop. Yeah. They they seem to think that the parameters you know set by the phone are are sacrosanct, and, and you can't adjust them. Thank you. Is, I didn't. Now, I, Steve, Michael, there's my big word for the night. There it is. Hey, I <laughs> the thing is. Cropping. Wait, wait, is I have a question. Because I cropped what it to the begin with. with. Circles around. It's, it's round. A round it's a round puffball. It's, it's, like it's, it's a round puffball. Is that not round? Yes, it's, it's round. No, it's, it's not. Round. Not it's exactly oblong. round. Round. It's oblong. It's oblong. It's Let's round. do it close enough. Oh, it's, a flat, it's a flattened circle. <laughs> a flattened it's a smush circle. circle. <laughs> exactly. Roundish. Right. Well, not a job beating me up. Thanks. <laughs> well, this just, this just shows everybody else that we pick on everybody. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. We don't play favoritisms around here. You can't oh, do no. show for that. Now, let's um let's go ahead and take a look. What's that? Before you move, give me just say I want to show a crop. Okay. 
Just a second here. Let me get this thing pulled up here. Okay. Dare so, I talk? Good Lord. This is a photo I took in the backyard sometime oh, last year. Sometime. Blog. So this oh. is the this is the full photo. Okay. What kind of peppers are those? Those aren't peppers. They're weeds. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like peppers right there. So <laughs> then, this was the crop, and I did a crop and frame. Nice, Ooh, sweet, very nice. So seen that from you somewhere. How much of this I got rid of? <laughs> Which, when I took the picture, my focus was the ladybug and this upper area. But mm -hmm. I knew when I took it, I was going to throw away the bottom. So already in my mind, this was gone. <laughs> And so when I went for the crop, I just I went whole hog in. Nice. But, you know, a crop doesn't a crop won't kill. It may prevent present you with something brand new. What the hell? All right, we're gonna look at Mr. I forgot how she said to pronounce it. Damn. Marius. Marius Zedwatsky. Marius Zadwatsky. Zadwatsky. Are you guys able to see my screen? Mine is wigging out on this side. Yeah, we can we see it. Okay. All right. Uh, photo details. Uh, some type of Samsung phone. Galaxy S3. Macro lens. Okay. Retouched in the photo retoucher on mobile. So that's the stock editor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine um, is this round? I say yes, it's round. It's a drop of water, it's round. But um, I'm going to assume somebody disagrees. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's uh, no, I, I definitely see the rounds. I did not vote for it, though. Mm -hmm. And the reason, I, the reason I didn't vote for it is because of the out of focus to the left. It bothered me. Right here? It, yeah. That just because this, you have this very fine focus here, and I guess the blur was not. It was kind of off center blurring, but it it annoyed me because I really wanted to see those other droplets kind of focused in with the one that's there because the little droplets around the big one are so focused in. So I think what happened when you used his macro lens, it kind of distorted a little bit and threw off some of the regular camera lenses' focus. A little bit more than what was normal, hmm. so it it kind of bo it bothered me. And I, it's a Sweeney thing. Just it, it just bothered me. A Sweeney thing? Is that what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, corrupt, I've corrupted everybody at this point. <laughs> I don't need corrupting. Nice. All right. Well, since you're speaking up over there, Miss, I can translate this name. Your thoughts. <laughs> Um, let me look at it again. Yeah, I mean, it was different, and I, I like it. I, do I think it should be the winner? Did you yes. ask me that question just now? No, no, no. I just say, what do you think? Um, but you can answer that rhetorical question. I don't think it should be the winner. Why? But I, um, because I think there are some other shots that are nicer. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't know. They didn't get the votes. Exactly. Now, okay. What I think people vote different for different reasons. I think there's a there's some, and I voted for it because I like I liked it, but I don't necessarily think it was the the winning shot. Mm -hmm. But that's interesting to know, like why people vote for certain photographs, and I wish it was a requirement that if you liked it, that you would have to comment. Mm -hmm. I like the oranges better. I like the oranges. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. I, I do like the oranges better. These aren't like the exactly round. I like the photograph. Does it really comply with the challenge? Mm -hmm. It's stretched it a little bit because none of these are exactly round, are they? Or maybe one. Well, I need to look up the I definition of round. <laughs> they're, they're like somebody's puffball. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to look at, I need to look at the definition of round. I think Circle. also you're running into an issue of where... You know, as I have found, and if you post, if you get it up soon enough, you'll get, you may get the majority of the votes, mm -hmm. unless you really come on really strong, you know, um. at the end. 
Um, I did personally like the oranges in the bowl more than I like this picture because the oranges in the bowl were not just working with the circle theme, but they were also working with the, the yeah. symmetry theme with the black and white. There was there were a lot more elements into that going yeah. for me at least than in this one here. I agree. Um, yeah, the, the the one I liked over almost any of them, except maybe the oranges, maybe is um, uh, Michelle's, the, the gas burner. Oh, um, yeah. where is it? Because yeah. that gave us round with a very interesting twist on it. Yeah, that was very neat. Right there. I mean, that showed some imagination. Yes. I'm going to say she stole my idea. Because I'm supposed to my I wish it wasn't just a little bit more focused. That's the only problem for me. Yeah. It's well, kind of rainy. It's, it's got heat going in your face, so I'll, I'll cut her some slack on that. Heat going in your face, and those flames are always moving, so it's hard to focus on. Do you think this could have focused more? That could have, because that's a well, yeah, that's what I mean. So, mm -hmm. so, the, so I don't expect that to focus. So the, trick, so the trick for Michelle to redo it is have the flames off, set auto-focus lock, and then turn the flames on. Right. Then well, you don't no, worry about focus. Have that blue halo because that it looks the the blue halo. I think you'll know, have to check. Well, the light. but but well, that's from the flame moving. I'm willing to bet so? that's that's yeah. the reflection of the flame. Uh, the halo she around. Shoot, no, she's shooting at a fifteenth of a second. So so that cool halo is from the flame flickering. Yeah. Okay. But if she would do if she would lock her focus first, you'd have a nice sharp background. Interesting. What did she use? S three? Yeah. S3. Yeah, that's, and it looks like that's she. That's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool idea. And she also um she did manually adjust the ISO. I can tell you that right off the bat. You can. Yeah, because it's set to eight hundred. It's rare that that phone it has the same camera that mine is. Yeah. It's rare that it's going to shoot at eight hundred. Particularly shooting that image. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you go up to my candle, which would probably was giving off more light, you'll see the ISO is. Um, candle, candle. Where's the candle? Right there. And open up the details. <laughs> Hopefully the. No, I'm, I'm trying to find the picture. Yeah, the ISO is 250. <laughs> Can you see it on mine, Sweeney? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I gotta answer something, though. All right. There we go. Yeah, I'm like that, too, Knight. That's with me leaving the ISO basically set to automatic, and it autoed it down to 250. Now, why would one adjust their ISO? What's the reasoning behind that? Oh, do you know what the ISO does? That's what I'm asking, because uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Robert, do you know? Before light. Answer. Light, basically, light saturation there. Um, the lower the lower the ISO, the less green and the more detail you have. Yeah. If you have, but then you have to have a lot of light because you're not going to be able to get if it's too dark of a photo, you're not going to be able to capture anything. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, an active picture, sports, whatever, usually it's like up into the 1600s. Okay. But you're not going to get the detail. It's going to be very grainy. Okay. Yeah, because so, like, that, that was my understanding. That the higher the ISO, the stiller you have to be for your photo to to be nice or less grainy, right, Deborah? No, no, because the the higher the ISO, it's going to be grainy no matter what. Um, because it's letting more light in. Is there, is there something with the ISO that if you change it, you it you you have to be stiller when you take the yeah, photo? Yeah, the lower the ISO, you have to be stiller. The stiller, okay. I know yeah, so more. like. Usually for like portraits, you want to have it around 50 or 100 because that will give you a nice, um, you know, nice skin tone. You won't get too much um, pixelating. Okay. Now, if you remember back when we used to buy film, the average person would buy ISO 400 film. Right. Which was the good general purpose ISO setting. Okay. Exactly. Well, I am going to have to make sure I look at mine a little closer. Mine is normally, I want to say it's normally around 125, something like that. And depending upon what your camera is focusing on, on our phones and the software that's built in, 
or the software that you're using, it'll actually adjust the ISO according to what you're shooting and what you focus on because it's trying to compensate and build get you the best shot that you're trying to take. So I've seen my ISO drop as low as 50. But oh. I've, also, I've also seen it as high as the 800 that she has, that Michelle did. It hmm. just all depends on what I'm doing and yeah. what I'm trying to focus at. The photos I took for the round, which I just recently added, I think they're at 100. Let's see yeah, they're at 100. Mr. Sweeney is away, but I will come back to him because he, I wanted him to show his portraits since Deborah mentioned that term. Um, but let's do, I want to get you guys take again on another one of mine. Um, Ms. Deborah is really familiar with it. <laughs> <laughs> this one That's here. Some <laughs> That's some Did you sneak up on them while, while they were there? I, I did. A moment. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I took these this morning, um, and when I pulled them up on the computer, I actually pulled them up on my Chromebook, and the Chromebook monitor is not that great, so I, I, I really couldn't tell how good or bad it was. I sort of hoped, and so when I finally got to the office and I saw Deborah's comments about the pink, I was like, wow, she's right, and then I come home on a better monitor, and it lit up the freaking room. It was so pink on this thing. Um so their ideas were talking about trying to, you know, get rid of that or adjust the, the actual petal color itself. What do you guys think? That is a very bright pink. Yeah, it's a little um, on the neon side. Where are my dark side? glasses? Where are my dark glasses? <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a sunburn from that pink. It's bright. I, don't, I had no idea it was that bright until I sat down right here. I was like, holy cow, that's bright. Um, and so I decided to just crop it down, but when I cropped it down, I also decided to rotate it more. And I know Sweeney doesn't like the diagonal. I know Deborah likes diagonal. What say the the other guys here, the two Michaels and Robert? I would have liked it if when you cropped it, you rotated it so that it was vertical. In other words, turn the whole image so mm -hmm. that just, you know, flip it. Mm -hmm. So this um, uh, this vein going straight up that way? No, no. Like hit the little the adjustment the the rotating rotate it ninety degrees to the right. That. Like that. Perfect. That yeah, that is seems better. What? It's much better. Yeah, that does look good. Rotate it back, and I'll you I'll tell you why it looks better to the eye. It looks better rotated the other way because down in that lower left corner, if you leave it like that, you have a lot of empty space there that you're trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Rotate it the other way, Whoops, your beetles. Way. No, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> wrong. I hit the wrong button. The wrong, the wrong way. There we go. Now, don't touch it. Rotate it like that, your beetles also wind up more in the um, lower, in the thirds in the mm -hmm. crosshairs. In the crosshair, right there. So your eye is less in your eye is less focused on what's going on in the upper um, left corner. Now if now you wanted to leave it the way that it was, what I would do is crop it more. And I would I crop it actually, I would have actually taken that vein and had it really in the corner. So like bring up the top so that it right hits. I, I'm just like OCD about right that. There. No. That's that's right there, Deborah. You're right. And then now, move. No, 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 no. Go no, back. No, 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 no. Go, Go back. back. Um, bring right bring the right in no, a little bit. Right. So it's more of a square. No, leave that there. And yeah, no, it's okay. Just like that. Keep going up. Follow the vein though. Follow the vein. There you go. Right there. Okay. Even more. Okay, how about that? How's that look? I like it. Uh, I no, leave it more square. Leave it more yeah. square. I bring it. I would bring that up back up again. The top part. Okay. Oh. Bring the top part back up. So it's more square. There. Well, I'll go all the way back, all the way back, all the way up. up to the edge. Right there. You know, if you click on the ratio button, Ant, I don't know if you know this already. Next to the rotate on the right hand side in the crop uh, toolbar thing. 
Click on ratio and then hit square. One, hit one, one to one. one. I don't see it. There it is. Right, right there. Me. Right where you're. Jeez. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. No, no. Keep it right. One to one. Square over to the right. Drag. Now hit the one to one. Middle, drag it. I wouldn't expect a window user. user. <laughs> now hit the one to one. Right there. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Hit crop. Apply. 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 Now rotate it back to the right again. Oh, crop. Rotation. Go back to the crop button. Rotate. Damn it. That way. Uh, right there. Now, now apply. Oh. That is a gorgeous photo right there, Mr. Pruitt. Hmm. We made an expert photographer out of him. <laughs> okay, so for me, though, it's a little bit, your foot's a little cut off. Yeah, it, it's got to be backed out a little more. Took the top off a little bit. I wanted to also mention that with the red at the top and the green at the bottom, mm -hmm. I feel it's more grounded because you have that whole space at the bottom all the same color, so it mm -hmm. kind of grounds the photo, too. Hmm. Which foot? This foot here you guys are looking yeah. at? Yeah. Yeah. That one. You, cut, you insect mur uh, mutilator, you cut the foot <laughs> off. <laughs> Shut it, dude. So we'll go back this way. And then we'll say here. Ratio one to one. One to one. Do one to one before you touch anything. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Yes, Mom. Yeah. You're, again, you're cutting off. You're cutting the feet yeah, off again. Right. There, there you go. There you go. Just Perfect. leave it right there. Right there. That's good. good apply. Oh, but see the the vein. Mm -hmm. that, that, that doesn't bug me. That doesn't bug me. That doesn't it's bug me. <laughs> <laughs> now where's the insecticide? It's in the third, so it's okay. Well, I guess right here, if it, since it's rotated this way, it's not as big of an issue, right? Yeah. But if it were laying no. the other way. You could free rotate it too, so that it's um, not exactly, you know. Now, do me now, a favor. This is the original rotation right here, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, go to your um, crop and do sixteen by nine for me. Yes. Quiet, now please. We're talking. Now we're now talking. Right, now right, right now. Now move the move the frame up. Just no, no, not no, no, no. Move the frame yeah, up. Yeah, all yeah. the way up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going all the way up. There right you go. There. Right now, there. Now rotate. Stretch it out to the, to the end there. No, stretch. Stretch. Stretch it all the way. There you go. Wait, right don't there. you want to rotate yeah. it first and then do the 16 by 9? Come down just a little bit. Nope. It's okay. Bring the frame down just right there. Right there. No, up a tad. Up a little, up a little yeah. Up a tad. <laughs> right oh, yeah. there. Right there. All right, now rotate. Let's apply it first. Ooh, next level. Okay, next yeah, level. I, I like that hey, better than the square. Somebody call National Geographic. I give, I give you that one. I like that better than the square. I like yeah, that looks really good. good. You do more. I square better. <laughs> no, I like this one better. <laughs> and you didn't, you didn't mutilate the bugs. You didn't cut any any limbs off. <laughs> Mr. King, I appreciate you not calling calling uh, Peter on me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now I just get some. Now get some uh, spectricide and get rid of them. <laughs> He took this on Wednesday. Leave those bugs alone. Because I have a feeling going to have some babies soon. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a couple more. Sweetie, you back, man? Oh, no, he's not muted. back, man, but he's back. His phone, he's, he's, he's muting himself. Did you mute yourself? He's he's on a call, I think. He's still on the call. No, he was trying to talk. Yeah. Still don't hear you, and I don't have you muted. I have had muted him. Portraits. Let's try that. There you go. Now we're here. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me find your portraits. Uh, damn. Where'd it go? Get out I don't know. I got to get out of this thing. Damn bugs. 
Okay, so your portraits are right here. Okay, start with the before. <clears throat> this is after. There we go. Okay, so what you've got here is this is your typical smartphone shot. Busy background, blown highlights because the phone literally cannot handle the range between shadow and sun. And most people will look at it and say, yeah, that's the best I can do. And I was kind of curious, you know, I, I've shot D700, you know, full frame for a while now, and I do uh, what we call glamour editing for uh, my model shoots. So I went ahead and took this little inky dinky JPEG for my iPhone, dropped it in Photoshop, spent about 30 minutes on it, and if you flip to the next image, the AFTA, that's what we got. You notice the highlights are, are fixed. You notice that my reflection in the eyeglasses, the sunglasses are gone. <laughs> that was the first thing I saw. <clears throat> you so notice that you know, the color of the hair has been touched up here and there a little bit, skin smoothed out, lips are cleaned up a little bit. Um, a, a trick on the blown highlights on the blouse, since you can't really get rid of it, is you apply a tone of the blouse to the white to tone down the white a touch. Hmm. And then and then the overall is a slight softening for the portrait. Since you're dealing with a, a female face, uh, the softer look works really, really well. I was getting ready to ask, did you do some type of, I didn't know if it was a blur or what, but it's but it, everything looks softer like yeah. in this region here. Yeah, that's intentional. Okay. And that picture actually came out of Photoshop at 2,500 pixels at 300 dpi, even after editing. So you could easily make an eight by ten of this. Wow! Now that's what a that's what a real desktop application brings to the table when you start dealing uh -huh. with post processing. You know, but that's not to say things like um, like Snapseed don't do a good job. But again, no, you're on a they computer. they do a fine job, but yeah. you know they they've got their limits. Yeah. And when you want to start doing things like getting rid of blown highlights and replacing skin. Uh, you really need, you know, something a little more robust. You gotta do skin grafts. That's right. That's right. I just caught that more. <laughs> can you place my skin? I need some new skin today. You need some new skin? Hey, I got Photoshop. I can. Like I, can get I can make you look any way you want. <laughs> some father. You need have another example over nice here. Nice Chianti. <laughs> you know, you know, I, 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 I shoot professionally, and I've had. Let's just say I've had a couple of clients come up just before the shoot and ask if they can um, augment things. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Isn't it? I, I'm sure it's like that a lot too, though. Yeah, it yeah. is. It absolutely is. I mean, now, this is, this is another iPhone shot. This was using a, a shelf as my tripod, used uh, Pure Shot to get a high-quality JPEG, dropped it in the Lightroom for my post-processing because uh, Lightroom's got the ability to pull down the highlights and to pull up all the cool shadow detail. Mm. I awesome. still think that that white of the light is too hot, though. It is. That's what I he know said. It is. Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> is. way too hot. But that, that, was a, that was a compromise to get the rest of the image. So what I'm actually going to do is this weekend I'm going to drop it into Photoshop and I'm going to play with the light and see if I can't tone it down some. I like it. This thing is so freaking detailed either way. I mean, I, I yeah. can see he's got. I can see he has a T-shirt on right there. Yep. Yep. You uh, know, that, that's that's a lot of detail. So that's a that's a high quality. I forget what the hell they call it. Um, I should probably look it up and get the right name for the, for the <laughs> JPEG. <laughs> and he's uh, menu. So they they call this they call this max quality JPEG. Max quality. And max quality. And, and this so, is only only through the pure shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a good app. <clears throat> I mean, I'm starting to use it a little more now. I remember you talked about that last week. I had this. This still hasn't popped up on the Android side yet. So I've I've looked a couple times. Okay. <laughs> but you know what I would recommend on the Android <laughs> side is button? is play, you know, play with the different apps and find something that will give you the best quality JPEG that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I like Pro Camera, but 
the Pro Camera JPEG is not nearly this quality. It's not as good. And so my choice there is either a lower quality JPEG or TIFF, and that's between two megabytes versus 10. Mm -hmm. This is five, which is a nice compromise. It gives me enough data to edit with, and it doesn't suck up all the space in my phone. And you, you talk about trying out different apps. I had, um, I'll turn off my screen share now. No, wait, uh, Mike, as yeah. far as highlights and, and, and face and stuff like that, how do you feel about Facetune for the iPhone and iPad? I think uh, maybe they make one for Android? I don't, I don't know. Um, it might work. I So there's a couple apps out there that will, they, they say they will, fix a face, and it's not just skin smoothing they do. They actually start shifting where the eyes are, and they shift how the lips are, and they, they actually shift facial structure, and I yeah, disagree uh, with Facetune, that. Facetune does uh, skin, whitens teeth, details the eyes, yeah. um, reshapes different things, does yeah, dark when, skin. See, see when, you start, when you start getting into reshaping, you know, you're kind of pushing the line of what what is it you're trying to do? Are you trying to get it? Are you just are you just trying to make a nice picture of somebody, or are you trying to alter them into someone they're not? It's you know, Facetune is more, in my opinion, Facetune is more heavy photoshopping a yeah. photo. Yeah, you're going for that uber glamour look that uber. nobody can actually oh, be. In real not, life. Well, I like Facetune because it doesn't give. One of the problem with the glamour shot kind of apps, it makes them look glamour shoddy. You know how it does that <laughs> stupid white, yep, white yep. halo of everybody? It just, it's garbage. Facetune does a good good job of not doing that stuff, um, but still gives you some really, really detailed... Um, yeah. the, 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 pro the problem I personally have, and this is just me, is I'm too OCD about my editing to trust it to a nap. Mm -hmm. So I'll sit down with my Wacom and Photoshop and do my glamour editing that way. And that way I've got the absolute control I want. But people out there, if you want to check out, it's not available. <laughs> and, uh, Facetune is two ninety nine for the phone and three ninety nine for the iPad. Oh, you got to buy them separate? Yep. Uh, that, oh, yeah, two separate that apps. That sucks. That sucks. Um, two separate apps. Poor uh, orders, you think that's cheating? Um, it is. Okay. No. It is. No. Uh, you know what? I think uh, maybe I have a different focus of what I want to do by being a member of this community. I would like to know, and I would like to practice how to take better shots with my camera. I don't mm -hmm. necessarily want to know how to better edit my photos. Mm -hmm. I would like quality coming out of the camera to start, so I have to, so I can drastically reduce the amount of editing I have to do. I don't see a thing wrong with that. Yeah, that's good, too. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with that, dude. I want to say I've heard Deborah say that a time or two. It's like she, she aims to not necessarily edit after she shoots. You know? Right. She goes I want, she, I on the frame. I, 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 always, you know? I always edit because I view, I, I view yeah. my images as a starting point. Uh, okay. even, even when I'm shooting with my full frame, you know, eight pound DSLR, it's a starting point. This, there's this. There's this mythology in photography about get it right in camera, and mm -hmm. it's a myth. You can get something close, but if you want the best image you're going to get out of a digital camera, you're going to do post-editing. Mm -hmm. I mean, even what, when uh, I shot what film. What I said was that I prefer not to edit too much. Uh -huh. um, I still do every photo that I post, I edit. Okay. See, and I, I go the other way. I want to post more photos unedited so that I can get the critiques of... I mean, outside of a crop, I really don't want to do a lot of editing. I want to know how to do it better in camera and to push well, the limit of what my camera on my phone can do. But there's, but here's the, here's the issue. With the tool, you can only push the tool as far as the tool physically can go. Right, and I'm, that's now, my goal. I want to learn how far as, can go. As a master of the tool, to use the tool, you have to work on improving what you're doing, like getting down and taking shots at lower levels now. 
um, getting in closer so that... That ain't going to happen going much more. To. I'm telling you that now. do those, you know, those close-up shots. And if he had been further away from the dandelion, cropping that down wouldn't have worked because it just would have come up grainy, pixelated, right. and it looked been mush. So you have to know the limitations of your tool and then master that and use the limitations to your advantage and also know, okay, if I really want to get close on this bug, I got to tippy-toe, sneak up, get close as I can without disturbing it so it doesn't fly away. If I want this flower and I want to get close and it's windy outside, I got to position my hand in a way to hold it so it's not flooding around and just cause ghosting in my picture. And there's just there's things that you as a as the master of the tool have to bring to the table as well. If I want lighting inside the petal of the flower, well, I need something, I need to be carrying something along that's going to reflect that light if I can't get it or bring my own light. Yeah, you know, and, and so, you know, part part of it is using a smartphone. There's a, there's everything is almost auto. And in photography classes, you're not allowed to use auto. You have to set your f-stop. You have to set everything. So it's not as easy. And then you learn from that, and then you know what kind of lighting you need, what kind of, you know, um, how close you can be. You know, all that kind of stuff you learn from the from from not using auto, and then then once you learned, you could you could use auto after if you want. I mean, if you already know how to do it, it's like uh, I can't think of a metaphor right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was really detailed. We got you. One of the things that I post in the community and one of the tips and tricks was about buying a big black marble, and I'm actually looking for. <laughs> a nice big black marble to be able to tell, okay, where's my light source really coming from? Because that may determine where I really want to stand to take the photo that I want to take. You know, I bought a new bag so I can pack my photography gear a little bit easier mm -hmm. and carry it around with me. So because a lot of times, you know, we're like, oh, we're going to go out and take pictures, but we don't take anything with us to help us take the picture. Right. We don't take the monopod. <laughs> we don't take the tripod. We don't take our reflectors. We just go in like, oh, yeah, we'll take pictures. But I think let, a let me address. Me to just put some, some white paper in my pocket. Yeah. I think that might be a <laughs> start. Let me, me address something that Michael was saying about getting, getting it right in camera. So, you know, the portrait I did of the Disney artist, that is right in camera when you look at the raw image. It's right because it's the best compromise I could make given the circumstances shot knowing I was going to drop it in the Lightroom and finish the job. Right. Everything's a compromise. I mean... Like cropping. I mean, if you can get as close as you can to the... I was. Without losing the... You know, because it's, a, it's a, um, a smartphone, so you're not going to be able to get any kind of manual focus on there. So you can get something in focus, but get closest to it that's going to help your photo than to try to take something like 20 feet away and then to crop it down to an inch, you know? <laughs> it's just, right, but that's only that's only one aspect of your of taking the picture. Right. You, I mean, if, if anything, if anything is more important, it's composition. You know, you guys are talking all about the techniques, and that's well and good, but ultimately, you can have the best technique in the world, and if you still got the tree sticking out of somebody's head, you still get a bad picture. Exactly. <laughs> now, Mike, I have a question. Lightroom for iPad. What do you think? I love it. Is Does it... that answer the question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, because... and, and frankly, I was prepared to hate it because, you know, the, the Photoshop Express was so badly done by Adobe. Oh. Yeah, we that when, that when 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 I heard about Lightroom on on the iPad, I kind of cringed and went, "Oh my God, you know, just how bad is this going to be?" But between Photoshop Touch and Lightroom on on the iPad, I think Adobe's got a killer deal going for there. And it's pretty doggone close, and not quite the same, but it's pretty damn close to the actual desktop version of Lightroom. Yeah. It's, and close. It, it's, it's close. It's close. It's, it's close it's, enough. It's close enough where you can do a stuff, but. Still, it's I need to do it on the on the go, and I think that speaking to Mike 
compromise issue. Yeah, I, it's I want to be able to to do as much in camera so that I can edit and do these things on the go because Absolutely. I'm finding that I'm spending less and less time at home and more importantly outside of what goes over from my phone on iCloud I don't transfer stuff to my computer anymore it kind of mm -hmm. lives on my phone until I've done what it's what I need to do with it I send it off to whatever service or site I'm gonna use it on and then I'm kind of done with it. I get rid of it. I, I don't need it anymore. So I don't I find that I'm not keeping photos physically on my my iMac here at home or on our photo drive here at home. They just they don't exist anymore. I'm I'm shooting, editing and dumping the the rejects more often on my phone or on my iPad. They never see a real computer. No, I, I treat I treat my my iPhone just like I do my DSLR. I do no deletions on the phone until I'm actually pushed into it. I'll 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 put everything on my desktop computer. I back it all up to Dropbox. It goes on a couple hard drives, and I still keep it on the phone. Wow, Damn. that's just yeah, me that's being paranoid. Damn. <laughs> I only delete, I only delete stuff that's accents. You know, like yeah. it's completely well, it's out of focus. <laughs> Yeah. It took me, I, I was in San Francisco testing a product on... <laughs> Look how cagey week. he's been. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In other words, he has, he, last week word, word, he has an iPhone 6. And, um, testing a product. In San Francisco. <laughs> and I, I took my iPhone with me, and the problem was, in my family all the kids' birthdays are very close to each other, and my daughter um, got promoted from the eighth grade. So I had a ton of photos on my phone, and I had to finally just dump them off. And I dumped them onto the iMac, but it made me realize that I don't do that very often anymore. I, Like I said, I, I edit, and then I get rid of what I'm not edit. Now, I make sure to check on a big screen whether or not I actually like it before I delete all the other stuff, but I, I don't keep them. There's too many of them. All right. Too many. I've got six thousand pictures on my phone. Jeez. Yeah, I'm cruising about. And, 10. and I know that because I just took two thousand off. Holy cow! Yeah, I'm cruising about ten thousand <laughs> on my phone right now. And that's not included in the ones that because I'm notorious about and with uh, Camera Plus. Even though I've edited, I'll save and I'll keep in yeah, my light yeah. box so that I can re-edit re and make different crops again later on. A, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go back to old pictures and I'll use a different editor you know, that I used two years ago because stuff changes. Right. And mm -hmm. I've got a known image. I've got a known final product I was happy with and I want to see how the new stuff works. So right. you know, I'm, well, always, I'm always dinking around on, on the phone trying out new software. Yeah. Before we get out of here, I want to take a look at this screen that Mr. Bohr is sharing. I just wanted to um, show the. I decided to do a series mm -hmm. in this. I don't know. I don't I know if you guys. Photos. I love these. Thank you. Well, this one's not perfect. I I know that um, I didn't have a lot of time to spend on it, and I I don't like the the super high contrast, um, super high saturation on the bottom right. But let me explain more of like what I was doing. So this sculpture Slain. <laughs> was at um, it's in the sculpture garden at this um, Strathmore Center for the Arts in um, Bethesda here, and um, and I had never for the year and a half that I've been taking my daughter there for class, I have not looked at the sculpture garden, and so I was like, okay, I need to find some round stuff, and they had this big silver ball of like. It was round, and I thought I was going to go take a picture of that until I saw this. Um, so I decided, I was looking at it, I was like, took a couple pictures. I'm like, oh, it has a couple round things in it. And then I realized that it was a kaleidoscope, but I was like, no way. So I try to focus on the center of the kaleidoscope. And if you look, hmm. it kind of is like more focused than any other part of the photograph. So this was supposed to be meant to be like number one, 
in the um, series. Mm-hmm. I think, is this number two? Yes. Ooh. This is the picture in the kaleidoscope. Ooh. So I put my camera right up to the front of that, that kaleidoscope lens. Very cool. Uh, or eyepiece. And so that's what it came out. And it actually made a circle, too. So I was like, oh, what? Another wow. circle. So I was pretty, I was all, all psyched about that. And it, in focus, you can see the bottom of this big bowl thing. Um, it's almost like it. engraving or something. Is that what that is? Yeah, and then no, I'll show you the third picture. The third of the series is, is, is the actual, this is what you're looking at. Oh, oh man. interesting. So that's my series of circles. And so this has more circles in a circle, and that's the middle of that b- big bowl. So that's another. And it's supposed to be some kind of astrology thing. There's like, you see the Pisces up here in the corner? And actually, didn't. Um, I really liked all those pictures. Oops. Okay. Nice job. I, like num- I really like number two there. I like them all. Nice job. No, I, I love these photos, and I completely got the whole series thing. I, I, I took okay, it, it was out, and then you kept zooming in, getting closer and closer and more detail, and I, I like these. Very, it very is nice. neat. Well done. Thank you. And I did up the saturation a little bit, you know, to get some of these colors in here. Um, but, you know, I have some other pictures where I don't have this cropped down so far where you can actually see – more of the astrology, but I liked this because it really showed the circle of the circles. And we got your diagonal line, too. Yes. I, I generally tend to do it without <laughs> yeah. even... That's what my teacher used to tell me. She's like, do it without even knowing you're doing it. Uh-huh. It's just an aesthetic kind of thing. Um, so there's a diagonal line going down this way, and then there's there's one on the other side as well, yeah. but there was a lot of leaves and stuff in here. I t- tried to take them out, but I was like, I don't know what else is in here I'm touching, so let me just try to <laughs> clean, <laughs> clean it out as much as I can without because I, I wanted to see the bottom of the bowl. You're supposed to get down and dirty. Heck, that's what they keep telling me. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, and and it's not called listen. down and dirty, not down and... and so here's, oh, here's, that, here's the bowl. You can see, you can see the um, astrology stuff. This is the first picture, and you can see this is the oh, yeah. face down here. Yeah. Cool. And I, I looked at this, now, and then I saw this stick. I'm like, damn it, why didn't I t- move that? <laughs> <laughs> so And, like, this little seed thing. There's, like, little things that I, like, bug me about it, but it was more about capturing the series than, you know, making each picture perfect. But anyway. I'm having a hard time catching little details like that in the moment of shooting, you know. It's practice, yeah. Well, this was actually inside the bowl, and mm-hmm. I took it out to get a picture of the inside of the bowl because I didn't know what it was at first. And then once I, I – so I took that other picture of the face first, and then I was reading the plaque at the bottom, and it said something about astrology. And I'm like, astrology? And then I looked, and then I looked at this thing, and I'm like, oh, that looks like a telescope. And then I'm like – Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a kaleidoscope. So I was all excited, but um, <laughs> yeah. And I didn't think the picture was going to come out. I mean, I put that put the lens of the camera right up to the eyepiece, and took it, and I was like, "Please, please be focused. Please be focused." <laughs> well, it was. So, and I, I actually put this stick here. I think it was part of the the sign because, like I said, I was getting the inside, and I forgot that I put it there when I went to to take this full picture. But there's like these um, these metal, you can kind of see them towards the bottom here and up at the top. They kind of go around the whole thing. I don't think I have a picture of, let me see. This is in the, oh, I'll have to look. I don't like to show all my pictures without. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> there might be some okay. stuff that you guys won't want to see. That's okay, dude. <laughs> the focus isn't on you right now, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm do, a little, do a little editing. Anyway, so I just wanted to, and, and I I know there's some problems with some of the photos. I'm not saying that they're perfect, but I had fun, you know, just doing the series. And that came out that's, great. That's, that's, that's a good thing to try to. If you can get the time and, and get in a little series like that, you, you can 
work on your creativity. Somebody like me needs that, you know. No comment. Good stuff. Hey, Shut yeah. up. It's practice. Yes, sir. It's practice. Yes, and, and I agree. You know, Swing, I take that back. Um, not that I agree with you. When I shot the horn, <laughs> when I shot, um, <laughs> I know that's how that sounded. I was waiting for the other shoe to drop there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I shot um, that flower, um, there's another shot. I won't show it here. But um, there was a, a piece of the, what do you call it, mulch that was a different color from the other mulch for whatever reason. And I do remember reaching down and throwing that out to the side see, before I took see. the shot. It's, so, it's starting okay. to sink in. Yeah. It's just going to take some more years. <laughs> That's what it's no, looking like. <laughs> you got to shoot more. Yeah. Like every hour, every day. You know, you know the, question, the question I asked my class when I was at that big photo show is I held up my phone and I said, who shoots with a, with a smartphone? And, of course, you know, 90% of the people raise their hand. Mm -hmm. Then I said, who shoots consistently every single day with their smartphone? And only about six raised their hand. Hmm. And I told them, I said, you want to get better shooting with your DSLR? Get out the iPhone or get out your droid every single day and start shooting. Because hmm. the practice of looking at the scene, the practice of composition, the practice right. of looking at exposure and all that will translate into every other camera you shoot with. Oh. Damn it. No I excuse. Know he's right. I know he's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, working out. Right. You gotta Jeez. work that muscle. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, we're gonna get on up out of here, folks. This was another another great discussion. Um, appreciate y'all joining in. We're gonna allow everybody to do their own little sign off, salutations, whatever you want to call it. We'll start with the lady first. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 you, plus, you know, you know, I don't like to. You know, I'm here just to challenge myself, so. Mm -hmm. Not that everyone else shouldn't be, you know, trying to pimp themselves out, because I think you should. Mm. But maybe. if I had, uh, maybe if I had some a nice space to do it, I would do it. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> my space. Wait, did you just say MySpace? Did MySpace. No, I didn't. Well, what did you say? It sounded like you said a MySpace. Nice Space. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> this is coming. This is coming from our Etsy queen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have anything on there right now. I mean, they don't really. Well, whose fault's that? I know. I, they don't. I mean, it's like ten dollars here, twenty dollars there. This, this, I, I this wish. Is, this, could... is, this is this is this is a tough love group. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> well, that's what I said. I don't have a place, a nice space to put all my. So I. That's why I don't want to pimp out anything because I don't. I don't really. You know. Find me on G plus. Find you on G plus. Or here. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Mr. Bora. <laughs> Next up, Mr. Michael King, where can we find you in your work? I can be found on G plus anywhere. Michael King, forty twenty three. Now looking for a new car because it just got took out. Oh man. I'll explain after we hang on. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate you coming out. Sorry about the vehicle. Holy cow. Uh, next up, Mr. Michael Portis. Um, you can find me on Google Plus and any of the other social networks, as always, at A Black on a Mac. Um, look for some reviews are coming uh, for some things I can talk about. Square Jellyfish, which we featured at iWorld, sent me mm -hmm. a bunch of toys that I can talk about, namely this little bad boy right here, which I had lots of fun with over mm -hmm. the last couple of days. But um. Look for those coming. We'll post them in the community as always. And nice. like I said, right down here, Michael Porter's a black and Mac. Anything else? Excellent. Thank you, my man. Next up, Mr. Sweeney. Hey. Unfortunately, if you look down on mine, there's nothing there. There's nothing because I'm, there. Because I'm, I'm, I'm third list today. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me. <laughs> I, said, I thought you were going to say something else. Yeah. Third list? Yeah. <laughs> I'm third list today. We'll, we'll keep it clean for the families. Yeah. But uh, you can find me at msmedia.me. You can find me in iTunes. You can find me in Twitterverse, like images. You can find me in G+. Uh, Deborah is giving me a vertigo, moving her screen around. <laughs> As I'm sitting on my bed with the, my laptop on my 
on my uh, lap. Oh gosh, let me laptop. change the focus. <laughs> change the focus. Sorry. Uh, I can't change the focus. That's the oh. problem. Thank <laughs> for joining us tonight, my man. Appreciate it as always. Next up, and lastly, Mr. Robert Knight. Uh, you can find me on Google Plus. And 500 picks. Support a starving artist. I need some money. Yeah. <laughs> Feed this man, y'all. Feed this man. He's got he's got a very and nice gallery. Even though I don't watch the NBA, college basketball, NBA, go Spurs. Beat the right. heat. Just do it. <laughs> Just do Beat it, baby. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Just do it. I'm with you. I don't watch the NBA either, but I'd rather be the Spurs. So, word. I do watch the NBA. I hate the Spurs because they're in the same team as the Rockets, but it's a Texas team. Go Spurs. Go Spurs. That a boy. All right. Thank the you. World Cup love. Come on, everybody. Oh heck yeah, Brazil. No, not Brazil. Go England. England. <laughs> Italy. Go Italy. Italy. Oh, jeez. No, it don't matter to me either way. I just wish I was down there. I know. Lord of mercy. All right. <laughs> we could get out of here, but um, I'll sign off uh, with me. My name is Ant Pruitt, and my lower third went away for some reason. Don't know why. It's back. Uh, there it is. Now it's, it's back. back. Um, Ant Pruitt here on Google+. Plus. I have no life on the Twitterverse as well as... Uh, Instagram? Yeah, it's the same on Instagram too. But mm -hmm. I just goof off there. Um, check out the community's webpage at smartphone-photographers.com uh, For the community members, if you haven't filled out the little questionnaire form as a little intro, please do it. I appreciate it. This will allow us to introduce you to the rest of the community. Um, I've already put two intros up. Mr. King, can you fill it out again? I thought you said you did, but I didn't see your results. Okay. And then um, okay. I'm, I'm going to do another one. I'll probably put another one up tonight, uh, one of the moderators, uh, to introduce to the community. But, yeah, check us out, smartphone-photographers.com. Follow me on YouTube as well. Just look for Ant Pruitt, and i got a whole slew of videos there from Daily stuff that I've videos. been doing and stuff that my hardhead kids have been doing. And um, we have fun with the little <laughs> webcam and mic and good stuff. All right. Uh, thank you for, to you folks for watching tonight. Thank you for you folks joining in and uh, hanging out with us. If you're interested in getting into this community, just request an invite. We will do hey, a small, first simple post background. pictures. Then get, and then we <laughs> exactly. We're, we will do a background check to make sure you'll fit in. If you're wanting to get into the community and you don't even post, let alone post pictures, probably not going to get, get into the community. That's just how it is. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not sorry. That's just how it is. Um, so just, just let us know. We're going to do this again next Thursday at about 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or close, somewhere in that area. And... Um, we have our weekend edition. I think it's in hiatus still, right, Robert? Until what, August? August, yes. Okay. We'll be back weekend in August edition. Doing a demo. Word. All right. So that is it, everyone. Thank you all again for watching, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.